What is the process to buying a home? Today we're going to talk about that. So let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Babino. I'm with MissyMichelle.com and Future Home Realty in Tampa area. We love living in this area and we love playing in this area. So if you do too or if you want to learn more about the area, please click on the subscribe button below and click on the notification bell so that you are notified every time we post a new video. So today we talk about the process to buying a home. Now this process can be overwhelming for people who are first time buyers or even if you've bought a home before. The process is different on every transaction. So the very first step in the process would be to find a good realtor, find a professional that you're comfortable working with. Somebody that you trust will help you find the home that you're looking for, the price that you're looking for, and the location that you're looking for. Number two in the process would be to find a good lender. Now your realtor that you hire to find you the home will be able to refer you to a qualified lender in the area or maybe somebody that they've worked with regularly. But when you're looking for a lender, you wanna make sure you're looking for somebody who has competitive rates and who's just gonna take your interest and, and, and there's a lot of programs out there so you wanna make sure that they're looking at all the options for your situation. Another thing about finding a lender is you want to make sure that you get a pre-approval. So when you are ready to make an offer on a home, that you're able to present that pre-approval with your offer, which makes it a stronger offer. Most sellers do want to see that the buyer that wants to go under contract on their house does have a pre-approval letter or proof of funds. Number four would be to go search for homes. This is the most fun part of the process. Now, this is also the process that can be become very overwhelming. If you look at tons and tons of homes, they start to run into each other. So make sure that your realtor and you communicate well together, that you're letting them know what it is you like and don't like on every home. Number five in the process of purchasing a home would be to go ahead and make an offer. Now this is where you're going to want to sit down with your realtor, go over any comparable sold homes in the area that have happened in the you know last 90 days and come up with a price that you're offering on this home. Number six would be once you get under contract on a home, you're going to go ahead and you're, you're going to need to schedule inspections. I recommend everybody getting inspection on any home, whether you're paying cash or you're getting a loan. Congratulations! You're going to close on your new home and become a homeowner. And this is the most exhilarating day of the process because you will actually get the keys in your hand once everything is completed. So congratulations, you're a homeowner. Now, with all that being said, we do have a, a, a free download for a home buyer checklist. And this is something that's very important for you to, to just have. And um, so when you're going through this process, you can check off the items and you know how far along you are in the process and you're not forgetting to do any of the steps, whether it's the home inspection, the appraisal. Now the professionals and the team that you've hired to surround you during this process will, will guide you along it, but it's always, it always eases the anxiety you may have of purchasing a home when you actually have the checklist in front of you and you know what steps are coming next. So go ahead and click on the link down below and just enter your uh, email and your name and you'll be sent this free PDF checklist that you can download and take with you while you're uh, starting this new process of purchasing a home.